Hey everyone, Ben back from Living Survival and today we're going to take a look at a very cool tool from Adventure Mate. It's the AMV2. I'd like to take a moment to thank our longtime channel sponsor, ProCampTech. I've been using ProCampTech products for years and know that when I need it, I have a dependable, weatherproof way to get my fire started quickly and easily. ProCampTech fire tenders are non-toxic, eco-friendly, and don't lose potency over time. They are simple to use and ultralight to pack, saving precious space in your kits. Check out the link below to grab any of their fire starting products, including Ultimate Fire Tender, Fast Fire Stick, Fire Plugs, or their Fire Strip Roll. If you want the most reliable, weatherproof fire tender on the market, go prepared with ProCampTech. All right, so today we're going to take a look at the AdventureMate AMV2. This is a 5-in-1 multi-tool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty unique. Haven't really seen anything like this before. Of course, there are plenty of multi-tool like shovels that have the saw on the handle. Uh, they might have a little blade, but none of those are going to, you know, do any good out in a real, you know, wood situation or camping situation or survival situation. For that matter and this one when I saw it I actually thought that might be kind of interesting and it is it's actually a pretty rugged tool it's got a good tool set on it it's got a you know an axe it's got a, a nice shovel on it and then it also has a decent saw so we're gonna break it down I'm gonna show you guys the different components of it uh, go through the whole thing and then we will uh, conclude with some pros and cons so this is how the package comes it's got a uh, nice nylon sheath that basically holds everything this would be really good to keep in the car which is where this is going to ride for me um, it does have some velcro straps on the back so you could hook it you know onto uh, the you know one of those little grid things in your car um, maybe hook it onto the seat back or something uh, like that uh, you could also hook it on a pack although I probably wouldn't keep this on a pack um, I would probably you know break it down and we'll look at that in a moment but it is a nice sheath uh, pretty heavy duty sheath it's got a nice magnetic buckle here that uh, kind of magnets itself back into place and then what you have on the inside is you have the actual axe which has a little uh, leather strap here you pull your axe out and the axe uh, head itself has a little sheath as well and then what you have in the remainder of the pouch is the shovel head now I mentioned you know there are many different multi tools on the market that are a shovel and then in the handle there's different things um, I've had a few of those and they're just junk you know they're, they're not going to get the job done all the tools are not going to be adequate and this is the first product where all the tools are actually adequate you know when you get a multi tool um, it's nice to have all those tools but if the tools are junk and the tools don't do the job then what good is it and this has really surprised me for how decent it does work so you've got the um, the shovel head here and then again I mentioned that I probably wouldn't store this whole thing in a pack um, loaded up the way that it comes but you could easily take the axe portion out and you know hook this onto the outside of the pack which I've often done and then you could just slide this in the pack you can see that it is nice and flat so you could either use the sheath itself or you could just take the actual shovel head and stick that down in your pack. You know, it is nice and thin. It actually would give you some support if you had a frameless pack or a pack without a back support. It would actually give you some of that support. So I do think it is pretty cool that it is packaged that way. I just wouldn't carry it that way if I was taking this out, you know, into the woods. If I'm using it in the car, of course, I would just store it the way it is, throw it in the back of the car, and you're going to have a nice uh, multi-tool that actually is going to be able to do some work for you if you do need it. So let's talk about the axe itself. It measures 16 across and uh, it's real similar to you know just your standard uh, camp axe. This is a condor camp axe. You can see that it's pretty similar here. I do have a uh, small forest axe. It is going to be a little bit shorter than that small forest axe. Um, but it is a nice size. It's really really well built. You got a, um, I believe this is like a TPE overmold on the handle here. And you've got some really um, rugged material here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Some ruggedized uh, plastic. And then the whole head mechanism itself, of 
course the axe head, the um, hammer pommel on the back is all metal and the collar that fits into the handle is metal as well. So really solid in the hand. It's, it's uh, really, really well built and tough from what I've been able to put through it so far. It does weigh 2.6 pounds. Um, so you have the little uh, sheath here that covers the little uh, or the little mask that covers the head there and then you can see you have the uh, axe head itself so it's not going to be as broad as like a camp axe more like the size of a hatchet but you can see the shoulders on this thing are really wide so it really excels at splitting so not only are you going to be able to do chopping with this maybe a little bit of fine tasks um, you know I've done some stakes with this where you can just chop uh, or first saw a limb you know chop it down chop down the um, the point on it and then possibly do some little um, fine work on the end of that. I have tried to sh uh, do curls with this. Of course, a knife is going to be um, better suited for that, but it does work. Um, and it did come really sharp. I have actually sharpened it uh, one time uh, since I got it. Uh, but it, it did maintain its edge pretty well through a bunch of oak that I was splitting. I had a, um, a dead tree come down with a bunch of oak limbs so I was chopping into that and um, splitting with that it does a really good job at splitting which is something that I would prefer I'd rather my axe does better at splitting um, than you know than chopping again I have a knife and I have a saw so I can saw limbs and then I can split them apart with this and use them for a wood stove or use them to get a fire started so you have the axe head on here there is a nice uh, waffled uh, hammer or pommel on the back and then up top here you have a little hook so you could use this to um, get pots or pans with a, uh, a bale handle off the fire with that. And it, I believe it is also a uh, cap lifter or bottle opener. So I didn't try that. It is on the top. I could take that or leave it. That's basically what you're getting with the five tools. You're getting the axe, you're getting the shovel head, you're getting the saw that we'll look at in a moment, the um, bottle cap or bale lifter, and then you're getting the um, waffle uh, pommel on the back or the, the hammer so that's that works really well to uh, pound stakes you could also use this little hook to remove stakes um, although my stakes don't don't necessarily have a loop on them they just usually have you know the the blunt top to them so that's not going to really work for me but I, I suppose you could use this to lift a um, a bale off the fire hollow in the bottom uh, all the way up to this uh, this more rugged uh, top here and then the way that this works is you basically have this clasp that you pull apart um, so that's what locks the tool um, onto the head now there is a little bit of vibration um, that you can hear when you are using the tool or when you're splitting with it or chopping with it but the head doesn't move at all it's just um, you know something maybe the, the clip itself vibrating the head itself does not move at all so I was pleasantly surprised with that I've had other multi-tool axes before where you know you have some sort of clamp system for the head I've even had you know hatchets and tomahawks where the where the head doesn't want to stay on you got to keep fussing with the handle so this one does stay nice and locked it stays nice and tight so that's really nice so basically you just undo this uh, clasp. Now, once you've used the ax um, for any amount of time, this does get really difficult to lift open. And I actually had to use, you know, the shovel head to pry in there or my knife to pry in there to get this started. Um, but I guess that's okay. You know, you'd, you'd rather have this nice and tight than, than loose. But I just thought I'd mention it that I did have that issue where after you using it for a while, it does tighten up quite a bit. So then you just have this little button here and you depress the button. You really should be using the, uh, the sheath when you're messing with this. So let's put that, that back on. You can see how thin this is. Um, you know, maybe, maybe a con that we'll talk about in a little while there, maybe get something different built for this. Um, but it does the job, it does secure the, um, the sharp part of the handle there. So basically you just undo the clasp here and then you've got this little button and you're going to go ahead and press, uh, that button and then the whole head just um, slides out of the uh, tool itself or out of the handle so then you can see here's where we have our saw now again I was pleasantly surprised that this is actually a fairly uh, decent saw you know again with these multi tools you get junk saws um, you know size wise it's about the same size as like a pocket boy um, from um, silky saws and again I did test this saw quite a bit it definitely works which is a plus for this multi-tool again is it, is it gonna replace like a you know an actual 
uh, saw that you could take to the woods from Silky? No, probably not. You know, this thing's gonna, gonna hammer through some wood a little bit better um, than this saw, but it definitely works better than, than any other multi-tool type saw out there. It works about as well as a Laplander, uh, in my opinion, and they do give you an extra saw blade uh, and the hardware that you could change this out uh, once it gets dull. If I pop the saw in here, and that, how you do that is you just flip it around from the axe head to the saw, and you just slide it right in here till it clicks. You can see the little button clicks there. And then we just pop down our latch there, and then you have a usable saw. And again, I mentioned size-wise, this is about the size of a Laplander, but you have this nice extended handle, so you can reach you know, to limbs and things like that that you can't necessarily do with the smaller saws. So that's an advantage for it. And again, it works just as well as a Laplander, not, not quite as well as a Silky saw, but it's great that you actually have a functioning saw on here. So that's cool. So you have the saw portion, and then again, to flip it back to the axe, you just flip up the handle again, you press the depress the little button, and it is cold out here, my hands are cold, but I am still able to do it. I've had this thing completely wet. I actually left this out in the elements for three days and it didn't rust up or anything like that. So that's another um, nice, pleasant surprise. So then you basically just flip the, uh, the saw and back in the handle, lock it down in there, and then lock that down in your back into ax mode. So right here, even if you didn't take the shovel head, if you just took this, you have a functional saw, you have a functional uh, hammer head here, and you have a functional um, hatchet style ax, which is really nice. Let's talk about the shovel head. Again, another pleasant surprise that you actually get a quite large uh, shovel head and a quite functional shovel head. Again, those multi-tools that come usually get a small little shovel. Even if the shovel is this size, they're not very good for any amount of time. You know, this I would compare to maybe like the cold steel uh, shovels. Um, you know, durability wise and use wise, it, uh, it reminds me of those. So basically you do the same thing again, make sure you got your little mask on there. We're going to flip this clasp up. We are going to depress the button here. We can remove the, uh, ax portion. And then we take our shovel head here and we slide it, uh, right down into the tool until it locks again, lock that clasp. And now you have a nice functional shovel. Uh, on this version, they actually have also rolled over the uh, two edges, so you could use your feet with it. You know, a shovel is something that I'm just going to sort of trench dig with, um, or I'm going to use it, you know, around the fire, which is how I've been using it to move logs around and ashes and things like that. This would work great for like a hot tent. Um, which I'll definitely probably take this when I go hot tending because you've got the splitting axe, you've got the saw, and you've got the shovel blade that you could use to remove ashes out of your uh, wood fire. The shovel is 10 inches across and 7 inches down, so again, a nice size shovel. Now, there isn't much of a curve to this, um, but the other shovels that are comparable to this don't have much of a curve either, and I actually kind of like that because, as I mentioned earlier, you can slide this portion down into the pack and then use the axe and um, saw portion you know, on the outside of your pack, you don't necessarily have to use it all in the sheath, um, which is something that I, that I would do maybe in the car, for example, but not necessarily when I'm out and about. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the pros of the, uh, this multi-tool and then some of the cons. Pros are it's really well built. It's tough, it's durable, it's solid. I've had no issues um, with this thing at all. It's a lot more solid than any of the other multi-tools that I've seen out there, and it actually does um, you know the job of the three separate tools maybe not as well as some more expensive tools You know, it's not going to work as well as maybe my um, Grand Force Brooks, you know uh, axes or hatchets um, But it definitely does the job it gets the job done and that's really all I'm looking for in a multi-tool like this The shovel works excellent. You got this nice broad head here You've got the foot pegs if you need them Again, just real solidly built. The lock itself is is really high quality. Again, after you've used this for a little bit, it is kind of hard to get open. So I've actually um, several times, again, had to use, um, you know, maybe like the shovel head here. You can stick this uh, in there and you can pry it open, a knife. So let's pop the saw back on here. Again, it is a very functional saw. Does it work as good as a silky? No. Does it work as good as something that's this long? No, but you don't have to carry three separate tools. You've got the tools you need all in this smaller package. Uh, so it is a good saw blade. I was, I was pleased to see that, um, that it actually does come with a saw blade that actually does work. Those are definitely the two tools that I take in the woods every time a saw and a uh, ax or hatchet. So we can pop this back over into uh, axe mode here, just to press the button here, flip it around, 
lock it back in, lock the uh, clasp there, and then we're back into axe mode. So moving back into axe mode here, again, really well built, really durable. I had no issues with the handle loosening up at all, which is something that you will find in some of these tools. The handle's very comfortable. You don't really get any vibrations uh, or any anything like that. So really solidly built. And again, you get three very useful tools, a shovel, an axe, and a saw with this package. Let's move on to the few cons that I have. The first con being that this is quite difficult to open once you've you know, been, uh, been chopping away with this thing. It's pretty simple to solve if you have anything to pry that open. Uh, maybe it's because it's cold, winter time for example. I'll have to try it again uh, in the summertime. But I had all sorts of wood and gunk and everything all encased in this, snow, wet. You know, it worked flawlessly with all that in there. It worked fine, I didn't get any you know, jams or any clogs or anything in there. Um, but it definitely works fine, but definitely a con that it sometimes takes, you know, a little bit extra muscle or an extra tool to, uh, to pry that up. The second con I have is this little axe mask here. Although it is functional, it is very, very thin leather. So I don't expect this to last very long. Um, you could certainly get something else made for it. Uh, but I did list that as a con, uh, being that it probably won't hold up. Now, finally, let's talk about price. It is quite expensive. Uh, for this adventure mate tool you know if you added up the cost of high quality tools like a grand force brooks axe a silky big boy saw and then maybe a cold steel shovel you might get close to the price of this um, do i think that it does the same job as those premium tools no but it definitely does the job of anything cheaper that you could buy so it, it's at, it's you know the saws as adequate as a laplander saw the shovel's definitely as adequate as a cold steel saw or shovel, and the axe is is you know about the same level as maybe a Fisker's axe or maybe that Condor axe. You add all those up, and you're probably right about at you know maybe a hundred dollars, a little over a hundred dollars, and this is going to cost you twice that. Now it is designed and assembled in the USA. It does feature high carbon steel. It does feature some nice um, components here. You do get the sheath uh, with it that you know enables you to carry it all in one, uh, which is pretty cool. And there is also a 20% discount at the time of filming this video. So I will leave uh, that link down below if you're interested. But overall, a really cool piece of kit. You know, something that would be great for the car. Something that would be great to take camping with you if you're car camping. It definitely does the job of everything that you would need it to do. Um, and then again, if you were going to take this hiking or in the woods like I go, I would just take it separate. I would either leave the shovel portion at home or I would just... Uh, take the axe out throw that in my pack and then throw the shovel um, portion in the pack as well so i hope you guys enjoyed that video today and give it a big thumbs up for me leave me that comment in the comment section below letting me know what you think of the adventure mate multi-tool i think it's pretty cool i think it's definitely something that works well leaving it in the vehicle or leaving it in one of your kits you're going to have those tools to get the jobs done that you need again leave me that comment in the comment section i try to reply to all the comments that are left please share this video with any friends or family who you think might be interested and if you haven't already done so please click that red subscribe button and that notification bell for more videos